<clears throat> Nats might pull the the real estate value is down a couple thousand dollars. Just ask, are there gnats? Yes or no? If yes, you can reduce the property value a couple thousand. People are concerned about homeless pulling down property value. But what about nature? I mean, that is a factor. That's why the Midwest is supposed to be cheaper. A house like this <laughs> would be double the value. More on the coast, the Pacific coast, not the Mississippi. How you doing? Hey, good. Cool. This trucking company that goes into the sewage treatment plant is a farming organization. LCL Farms. Dropping it off on farms. Keel Cuck's doing pretty good because somebody could easily run, come by here and just rip these copper drainage pipes right off the church. They got quite a bit of these copper drainage pipes every corner. It looks neat. But it's got some scrap value too. People could get desperate, especially with $5 gas. So actually the evening shade is better than expected because the sun is going down at more of an angle than I expected. So earlier I watched a barge go through here and the doors were open and the water level was lower so they raised the water level for some reason I don't quite know Saint this I know that's how they do it at the Suez Canal but on the Mississippi River too they gotta they gotta make an area to raise the water Right, so I bought uh, 22 pounds of ice a couple days ago, two days ago, and I still have quite a bit in all of these containers. So I'm not buying any ice. All of these containers have about what uh, I have in this container. So it's looking like this ice is going to last. I can't condense or anything. I have one refrigerator. Number four is the refrigerator with three eggs in it still, and it feels, it sounds like there's ice still in there. I can get, I bought these two extra things, I can, I can fill these up with milk at least. It's the first time I've seen this type of packaging, but they're roasted and ruined. Why not raw or not without salt? <clears throat> You know, my thoughts keep falling back to the jail and the things that happened there. Uh, there was a, a, a moment where I heard one of the, the guys ask another guy I was sleeping next to how he thought of me. And the guy that slept, slept near me said he, he likes me and that he thinks I'm a solid guy. I got the impression that I would call the, the guy that asked the question the instigator. He was an instigator. He was the guy that would fart as I walked by him. He was the guy that would support uh, other guys that uh, tried to uh, um, be hard on me. Uh, there's these are particular guys in a Louisiana jail. But uh, it sounded like he was maybe trying to uh, get a feel for how much support I would get if I was assaulted by, by these other guys. 
what what would have happened with the guy that slept near me but I mean eventually this guy that slept near me he was below me it, um, he was kicked out anyway so I was kind of left vulnerable but I mean this we're talking short-term jail stays anyway but uh, the tension was up the tension was up up and down but mostly up and it was stressful being in a jail delaying problems but I stopped doing it for a while for a long time because I lost motivation and then the problems got worse and now that I've figured out upper back exercises that I like doing like trying to do the neck bridge I'll do that in between the the bend overs the table bend overs it's just there's limitations I mean I need a picnic table for the picnic table fitness I can do the upper back stuff almost anywhere. The upper back stuff helped a lot, but uh, being able to do picnic table fitness with it is a real, a real excellent addition. That uh, they don't these exercises don't work on their own. They they work really well together. Just working your whole back is pretty darn important, especially if you live in your car and play on the computer too much. All right, so not to mention race, I'll just say there's certain people who stare, and I've talked about it before, and I think I'm starting to form the belief that ice is more effective for dealing with the summer heat than wind than having a fan. I'm actually preferring ice over my fans, but it's not 100%. I got rid of my bigger fan, I still cut my smaller fans because they do have some value, but ice is, is is pretty nice. It was a matter of just being able to store that ice, having the right containers that can keep the ice for long periods, like in the vacuum sealed containers, and that's a that's a difference between some groups of people. All these containers are empty. So these barges expend a lot of exhaust. They use a lot of fuel. You won't be seeing these guys go switch over to electric power anytime soon. Hydration may not be just about drinking any water, it's about drinking the cold water, ice water. Mm. Yummy. <coughs> These dogs came running down the the patio of some house and they just got disoriented started barking away from me I, was, I thought they were gonna come right at me that's weird so my primary exercises are this using the picnic table fitness strap and the, the uh, yoga blocks my primary focus is on just straightening and tightening my upper and lower back so I don't get breathing problems, so my heart stops skipping beats, so that I don't have uh, gas, major gas problems, 
there's a lot of problems that developed from my poor posture <clears throat> that I'm able to reverse by by and it's not it wasn't enough just to tighten up the upper back uh, it was actually pretty helpful I think just only using picnic table fitness doing uh, bend overs over the end of the table that was I think that might have been delaying problems but I stopped doing it for a while for a long time because I lost motivation and then the problems got worse and now that I've figured out upper back exercises that I like doing like trying to do the neck bridge I'll do that in between the the bend overs the table bend overs it's just there's limitations I mean I need a picnic table for the picnic table fitness I can do the upper back stuff almost anywhere the upper back stuff helped a lot but uh, being able to do picnic table fitness with it is a real a real excellent addition that uh, they don't these exercises don't work on their own they they work really well together just working your whole back is pretty darn important especially if you live in your car and play on the computer too much so Iowa was under French rule and was sold in the Louisiana Purchase but why are they not under Napoleonic law too all right, I saw that the road is, it's, they said it was closed 500 feet. I looked down and I see this cool looking bridge. Oh my God, people are parked on the other side. What? Is that a fishing pier? Wow. I was gonna go to this World War, World or Civil War site, but when I saw this road closed, I'm like, this is cool. My biggest concern is the activity of the farmer and there's no shade parking here for me. I got no shade, so this isn't too attractive uh, for the day. Uh, the sun is coming. Yeah, I wouldn't have any shade at that other side either. <laughs> they put the trees on the wrong side of the lot. I need I need east side tree or west side trees. There's a sign that says "Welcome to Missouri." So this is a river that uh, serves as the boundary. But yeah, they closed this road for driving. Oh my God, <laughs> I could see why when you got a pothole like that. And they, had, they didn't bother repairing it because they got this other bridge. Just let this one go. Now it's a walk bridge. Too many truckers have been hitting this bridge. You can see it's bent out of shape at the top. That must have been the lowest part. Yeah, a couple of nicks on the others. And then as it ages, we got rust. Rust falling down from the top. It seems like this these rust these rust pieces they fell down a lot. Like maybe there was and they fell straight down? I don't know. I don't know how that works. This bridge doesn't seem like it is designed to move. I don't understand what these are for. Ward. These. Oh, they move. They're flexible. All of them. All of these. Kind of flexible. All right. So I walk over here, and I smell a little fermentation. I see some brown spots on the ground. I look up and see we got a a white mulberry tree these are these are actually ripe they're not the flashy red like they're not like the flashy red ones not an easy harvest I could take a walking stick I could lay down a blanket and then knock the branch with the walking stick 
and catch whatever falls. Because they fall pretty easy. And they taste pretty good. A little different than the red ones. Alright, we're at a severe angle where they'll roll down. I'm going to use my walking stick and I'm going to hold up an end a little bit if I can and uh, see what, what catches. Alright, I didn't do a whole lot. Caught a few and some bugs. So I first I first learned about the white mulberries in California actually because they're selling them in one of them nature grocery stores. And then I actually seen I seen these uh, white mulberries um, in in uh, Washington. There's a lot of mulberries that grow in Washington and it's not just red there's also sometimes white red is more predominant but uh you know you see white ones too they grow in washington and missouri but uh, i don't i don't know how well they stretch between washington and missouri because uh, I, don't, I don't recall seeing any in the rocky mountains there may have been i don't know Right after eating some of them uh, white mulberries, I'm feeling a little ill in my stomach. I was a little concerned about that, and now it's 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 making a development that's scaring me. Just uh, I want to monitor that. It's maybe an infection. I'm right. Uh, I'm at the uh, Battle of Athens State Park and parking in the shade it's so deep in here many people don't come in it doesn't really a provide a electricity but it's got water bathrooms my hot spot reaches my hot spot's picking up something but there yeah there's no electricity but i mean that's fine i got batteries all right I did pull off the pavement a little bit and I see here is a problem just gotta make sure I do not touch that it's only a part of the board I think <clears throat> in that one spot all right so I did hard boil some eggs at the bridge and because I have access to water here, I want to chill them. Yeah, that's a little cooler. So I don't have to use my own ice, because I know it'll take a, it'll melt a lot of ice to cool these down. They taste pretty good when they're cool. Apparently I'm parked next to a historic inventory place. I've never heard of a historic inventory place. It's all shut down next to the city, city ho town hall, Farmington, more like town hall. All right, I'm at Kiyosakwa. In less than three minutes, I got attacked by a, a fly already, so they're likely bad. Oh, high water mark. Okay. This is the Des Moines River. They're saying that there's some place 8.5 miles away. Benton Sport, I don't know. Canoes only, motorboats only. What? They have two different launch sites for two different boats. Canoes on the right, motorboats on the left. Never seen anything like that before. That's a unique situation. I'm looking for this softball park that 
might have good tree tree cover if the sun gets too hot. Yeah, like oh, this is for boats. I was about to say I could park here. I could probably park in front of that shelter. I want to check to see if it has electricity. I see it has the plugins, but I don't know if they work. Looks like it's a driveway to somebody's house. There's a car, a couple of cars. But I was, I was interested in parking here underneath all this tree cover. It looks like it's a part. Should be part of a park. Basketball courts and baseball. And uh, if I pull off to the side, I would be out. Anybody who wanted to get past would have plenty of room. But it looks like it's it's a, a driveway to, to people's houses. Yep. People are living here. That's not going to work. This is not going to work for shade parking. Parking at the park, but... I really could use shade for these extra hot days. Alright, so here is daily hookup fee. What? Alright, so here is daily hookup fee. What? Never have I seen people use, make steps for underneath the bridge here. What's the deal with that? Alright, so I'm choosing this little spot here and gonna just try to stay out of the sun. This is a good spot for that. There seems to be a little bit of an echo. I don't know, maybe it's just the rocks that the sound is bouncing off of, but it sounds like there's a little bit of an echo. I'm constantly under assault by this large bug. I have not gotten a good look at it yet, but it sounds like a bumblebee just trying to like land on me to do something. I just didn't, I didn't walk very far down this trail and it just follows me. I run, it follows me. Here it is again. It's trying to get itself killed. I get nervous about walking around uh, nests, stirring up nests and I was thinking maybe it's a wasp or something trying to protect the nest it's only by itself it's a stupid sovereign pest take it out and no more issues if it attacks again eating sesame seed products eating sesame seed seems to uh, well it's it's a laxative but that laxative effect seems to be kind of hard on my... I smell like an, an animal. The, laxative, the extra laxative effect, the side effect seems to be that it's a little hard on the heart. It's like when I have to, to go, it puts pressure on the heart. <clears throat> and so... This sesame seed seems to put extra pressure on the heart. I didn't smell this smell before. There's no way it's a bear or a mountain lion. It's most likely a, a deer of some kind. Alright, I braved the bug to get a little grass. I don't think I should be trying to make coffee. But, I'd like to boil this grass. Maybe I could just use a few beans for flavor. Alright, I'm in a spot where it's... I just walked down 
to see what uh, it was talking about. It said I had a road to take a right on, and I don't see that to go to a lake. And I can't get further details because I have no service. This would be a moment where I would shoot up the drone, a drone, if I had one, and look for that lake. Look for the river. But I don't have a drone. All right, this is the first turnout in the state park. And I'm going to I'm going to be in the full sun. I'm not too happy about that. I'm going to be exposed to the sun for a while. I'll have evening shade, but I'll be in the sun for a while midday. So this is kind of my table stacking the yoga blocks on top of each other. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could go for an eighth, but I ate my my cereal on top. It holds the bowl by itself pretty good. Not so foggy anymore. Now it's just gonna get extremely hot. So I lay on my back after suffering uh, some significant pain in my, my lower gut. I was sitting at the computer for hours in the library and it was gas pain because I started farting it all out. That's it. Laying on my back and, and then f driving my, my hands into the ground with that exercise is pretty useful for for this type of problem something i've not practiced so how are you doing fine i noticed that you've been here all day okay I was well concerned that you were thanks, in there. thanks for your observations you okay i don't know are you how you doing with the heat oh i'm just fine but okay i just was concerned that you were in that car so well, i was to check um how long ago was that did you did you like get out of the truck no, like I this? Didn't. I just took the plate number down. And then ran the plate, see if it see if it was stolen or whatever. I did, yeah. All right. How's but it look? I'm here because I'm concerned that you were in it, and you know, I'm just making sure that you're all right. Okay. Uh, did you notice any? Not doing anything. No, no. Oh, well, I hope you're not either. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, did you notice any different anything different uh, from since the last time you uh, were? Maybe your uh, bike was gone. Ah, there you go. Yeah. Want a little bike sickle ride? Yep. I'm just here making sure you're okay. I, well, I mean, it seems like I have no comp. What? It seems like you're offended by I'm here making sure. No, you're I'm not okay. offended. No. Okay. No, it's it's great you're checking and stuff. I just. Okay. Uh, well, I saw the covers all over your car. I thought it's, maybe it's you were usually, sleeping, which is just fine. Yeah, it's usually but just. If somebody passed out and it got hot, you know, I'm just here to make sure that you're okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's. it's it's usually just that, you know, the first few seconds, you got to figure out what, what you want, you know, what's, right. are you looking for, a, you know, is, are you here to warn me about a bear sighting or no. a weather, a no, weather event? No There's no, you haven't seen I any? I will say, though, I don't know if you were here last night. I don't think you were. But oh, and you also want to ask about me sleeping here last night. Okay. No, I don't know. Because you, you don't have a night patrol, right? We do have a night patrol. Oh, well, they should know. They would have maybe checked it and they could report back to you. You communicate, uh, you Listen, know. I'm just here to make sure you're okay. If you're gonna yeah. stay here, you can't stay here overnight. I can't. Oh, here. that's what you're here for. I think you're you're more here to warn me I'm about not. overnight sleeping than I'm not. checking on the my welfare. I'm not. This is, I mean, this is kind of a welfare check, but also yeah. a warning, a it warning, is. a warning, and a welfare check, right? A little bit of both. I'm just. You know, mix. making aware that you can't sleep over here. Yeah, on it. and it's it's nice that you know you you warmed me up to this warning. You know you you know start out with the welfare check first, and then and then go into the warning issue. All you right. don't want to just you know march up here and just warn me about sleeping here overnight first. No, you want to because then that would definitely have me you know take a step back on that. I have no idea if I, you're here all night. Yeah. Okay. But you're fine. It seems fine. Yeah, so and I'm go. and you got my information. Uh, yeah. and, and if there's Are any you Travis, Travis, yep, yeah, okay. that's me. Have a good day, Travis. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Justin. Justin. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you.
Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 